Hey everyone, welcome to Urination Plus Live. I'm your host, Matt, and with me as always is my co-host, Ichabod Crane. Say hey, Ichabod. Hey, Ichabod. Ichabod Crane, if he were on Star Trek. So, is that what you were for uh, Halloween there, or did you uh, did you go out for Halloween last night? Uh, Halloween last night. You know what I did, Matt? I stayed in with a few friends, a few pretend friends. Uh, they all dressed up uh, like, you know characters from whatever my pretend friends like, and we had a good time. We sat around, we talked, we threw dice, and had some uh, some pumpkin pie. Wow, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Well, you say that, but you should meet my pretend friends, because they're a laugh riot. Oh. Time, times a thousand. For Halloween, um, I was just kind of depressed. Yeah, no, I, I know you sent me a text saying that you were sort of kind of, I don't know, just not satisfied with your life. No, no, that was my costume. Oh. I was sort of depressed for Halloween. Oh, boy, I completely misinterpreted that text. Yeah, I was wondering why I started getting calls from the suicide hotline. Yeah. I guess you sent out the red flag. Yeah, yeah, right, I, I sent out the red flag. Halloween's a weird time because, well, the day after Halloween is another holiday. Um, yeah. Columbus Day. Columbus, uh, Saint Columbus, or or Christopher Columbus. I don't know if they ever canonized Christopher Columbus, but I do know it. Cel- we celebrate Halloween the day before th- the day that he left America. For no, him. I agree because I think it's one of those things when he left America to go back and tell the queen what he found. Him and the guys, him and the fellas, all dressed up as Native Americans. Right, because, they were gonna. Well, because they took the Native Americans, they slaughtered and they skinned them, and they wore their skin like they wore the whole. They were they were like a uh, buffalo, right. uh, buffalo Bill, and sound into the lambs. Right, and before everyone starts judging and saying like that's not good, well, you know, it's like blackface in the fifties. It, it was more acceptable. Sure, it was then. accepted back then. Yeah, wearing someone else's skin was totally apropos. Times, yeah, it was apropos, man. You're right. Times change. That's kind of the cool thing about evolution is. Um, people become more in touch with their faith as they go. That is the important thing about evolution. Hey, dude, you know what? Uh, you know what interesting happened to me this week? Mm-hmm. I I had a run-in with one of Chicago's finest. A cop? No, 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 Chicago's finest. Oh, who? Who are we talking about? Uh, none other than the queen of the Chicago parade, Miss <gasps> Chicago. Huh? <gasps> Two thousand eleven. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I so dig this, man. I know. I know. Yeah, she got. I guess fine. Her name was Betty, and we bumped. I bumped into her to, uh, uh, like a rally slash fundraiser for Obama. Um, I was. Did well, you get I lost? Was, no, 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 I was working it. I, uh, you know, I like to answer. Um, I like to look for work occasionally to sort of keep my finger on the pulse of the country. And I got a catering job working one of these shindigs, and sure enough, bumped right into her. Spilled a whole tray of drinks on her blouse, um, was fired oh. immediately, and then never happened to me before. Usually, when they fire you, you just sort of go on your merry way, but they fired me, and then they drug me out back and beat the shit out of me. Really? Um, the Obama yeah. people did? No, 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 no. Uh, no uh, Miss Chicago's finest, Miss Chicago, 2011. Sorry, oh, I didn't sh- day. Yeah, yeah. It felt like there were three of her, but she beat the living shit. Wow. Out. She must. Man, yeah. She does kind of look. She's she's a tough. Tough broad. Tough Let's broad. put it this way: I, I didn't see her when she got elected Miss Chicago 2011, but I can I can pretty much guess what her talent was. It was probably MMA fighting. That's pretty sweet. Well, yeah, yeah something interesting happened to me. Um, I got a personal sponsor. Uh, they're not oh. they're not not one of your sponsors though, but uh, sponsored by Pac Man now. That's um, cool. That's still around then. The arcade games. I mean, it's kind of around. You can find it. It's like. Like a frat house might have one, you know. Okay, all right, okay. But it, it's rigged to, you know, it works for free. They don't. So use are you like, you know how like girls who work for alcohol companies, like the Captain Morgan girls, they show up to functions. So do you have to go to frat houses and like tell jokes or something on behalf of Pac Man since they have Pac Man machines? Yeah, I got a solid fifteen on Pac Man that I'm doing. You okay. know, 
went paco 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 and I come out there and they're like haha and then then they ask who invited me and, okay. and then um now so I'm assuming these jokes are on the fly because you couldn't have put any thought into that for that to be that bad yeah no no okay. I don't no I I don't write no I know okay I know. So, yeah, so I got, I'm just, you know, throwing up my peeps. There's my peeps right here. So, you know, that's what's going down. I think we're going to be making a movie together soon. We're going to do an adaptation of, of Pac-Man. Okay. Uh, live uh, action or arcade version? Like, is it going to be an 8-bit? Live like action. -bit? We're talking okay. about, we're talking to Sam Rockwell's people right now about playing Pac-Man. Sam its... Rockwell, the, the physicist? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah right. not, not the actor. The right, right, right. But yeah, that's great, man. Congratulations. Um, Thanks. Thank I, I guess we should also point out the fans' the reason we're, we're having these conversations about our separate things is because we, uh, Matt and I had a long talk and we've had a great run together and we've had a good time, but it's time for us to go our separate ways at the end of the season. I don't, uh, I don't, when do we talk about, when do we talk about this? Well, we're talking about it now. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. wait, what? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So Matt and I agreed. I'm assuming you agree because, I mean, I, I think we should. <laughs> Matt and I have been getting a lot of extra work unrelated to this. We get different offers. People are like, hey, you'd be great if you ditched that. You know, I don't want to use the words they say, but they, they tell me. You know, uh, the Yeah, the asshole. They, no, no, uh -uh, that, uh -uh. That, no. That liar. Yeah, that no, liar. no, they didn't. They, they, no, they, they said dead weight, um, and they said... Uh, Coattail, uh, coat no. occupier. No, again, uh, you're putting words in people's mouth. They no, said, this is what they tell me. This is what they tell oh, me. Oh, wait, are these the same people? I'm assuming you – well, because they told me you were talking to your own people about your own show, which is great because I feel like we're both at the point to where we're mature enough and business savvy enough, quite frankly, to go our separate ways and see how well we do on our own. I think I – I mean, I – I mean, since this is the show, like I run this show, like I'm the president of, of this this show. Nobody's I get to keep, disagreeing with that. I, agree I get with that. to I get to keep this show, and I can sure. do whatever I want. Hey, yeah, you can have it. You're not allowed on it ever again. All right. So that's admit, I, it's it's almost like you you just it's, it's almost like you were there in the meeting with me and my lawyers because that's exactly what were you there? Did you have a bug in the room? You can afford lawyers. Wait, what did what do what do you got going on? You don't want to do the show. What do you want? What do you got? No, it's not that I want to do it. I have just evolved, Matthew. Um, the people at YouTube mm. and the people at Google they sort of you know they sort of knighted me for. Let's just say something a little more my own, something a little more maybe significant, maybe change the world. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's that like a TV show or something? Well, I'm I'm contractually obligated not to discuss it. That's why I'm trying not to actually get into that because I'm trying to enjoy what we have while we have it left. But well, you could come on. We, we, hey, look, we were friends before we got into show business. I mean, so kind don't of. make us not friends now. You're well, right, kind. I think I owed you money. You, you promised that you'd polish my shoes, and I'd let you live with me if you did some of my housework and you got my my clothing ready for work in the morning. I think it's fair of you to bring that up. I mean, again, I think we should be celebrating our last couple of episodes together instead of. Yeah, you could have you know. done this later. This is the seventh episode. We got three more after this. I know. That's why I told you now. I'm giving you advance notice, so we gotta make them great. <sighs> Oh, okay. Well, then let's keep the comedy train flowing. Uh, hey, you know what? I mean, this may be a good time. I know we get we get thousands of emails a week asking mm -hmm, questions mm -hmm. about me because, according to my agents and lawyers, that's who that's why people watch the show. But maybe we can find a question from a fan that's not about me. That's just a random question. I'm sure you got one. Come on, you're the like you said, you're the big chief. What do you got there in your big brain file department? Right. Let me let me look at some of the questions that we've got for this week. Uh, this is from what's her face at gmail.com. Good, okay. Good name. Good name. What's her face at gmail.com asks When you guys split up, Matt, what are you gonna do for work? Boy, that's how does she, wait, boy, how she, does she know thing. about this? I'll tell you something, she's a fast typer and an she's, even better listener. According to this, she sent it yesterday, so you've told other people. Oh, I forgot. You're right. I'm so, no, well, I, I didn't tell other people. I made a Twitter post about it. A Twitter post is a personal what? stuff. By the way, that was my that was one of my lawyers. They just walked through. You're hey, come on. Say hi. Hey, you're having a meeting hi. right now? 
No, 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 no. Uh, uh-uh. this is Otis Nuremberg. He was uh, he was a highly recommended lawyer. He actually represented Charlie Sheen and James Spader during. Did the you 80s. say Nuremberg? Otis Nuremberg. Huh. It's, it's French, I think. Biblical French New Wave. A lot of that going around. But anyway, I'm sorry. So anyway, this fan's question, Matt. What are you going to do when, when Otis Nuremberg takes me to the moon with um, whatever it is that I have to offer people? Well, if Caleb's on the moon, uh, Otis, um, it, why am I talking to Otis? If it, yeah, Otis can't hear you. He's in the kitchen making chili. Okay, he's not just a super agent slash lawyer, Matt. He's a, I mean, he's a jack of all trades. I'm very lucky. James Spader raved about him. Don't give a shit. Okay, so to what's our face at gmail dot com? Um, if Caleb's on the moon, then I'm gonna be conquering the Milky Way galaxy. I'm gonna cover all the, the stars. Milky Way galaxy. Yes, that's a. I was just, I was just walking back by. There goes Otis. There he goes. He's he's camera shy, but man, let me tell you something. That guy gets it done. Uh, anyway, so you're you're Milky. You're you're going to be in a band called the Milky Way. Is that what, what? you're saying? What is it? Is no. that like an emo band? No, damn it. What I'm saying is, I'm going to surpass Caleb in every way possible. And if anyone thinks otherwise, they're hey, you mean me? Surely mistaken. So Caleb, mistaken. you mean me? Yeah, Ichabod Crane. You. Why? Why am I, I'm not trying to compete with you, man. To, to each his own. We're going our separate ways, man. This is a chance for you to explore and become your own man. Meet him, like, I, why, I don't understand why you're so... Wait a minute. Did no I, one contact you about I your... Never, look, man, all I'm saying is that if we split ways... If we well, split Matt, ways. I could recommend someone. I mean, granted, I got Otis Nuremberg, who represented Spader and Sheen, but, I, you know, he's, he's plugged in. I could probably find the guy that represented, uh, you know... Skeet Ulrich or something to give you a call. Dude, or... that is not cool. That is so insulting. It's not you... insulting. He's a tremendous actor. Did you ever see Jericho? Big, great show. I, didn't, I haven't seen it. Otis loved it. Otis just finished watching it. It's only two seasons. Weird thing. Jerome McCraney's on it. Skeet Ulrich. I don't heard... give one shit about Skeet Ulrich's show, okay? We're trying to discuss something. Okay, well, actually, this is a great... This is a great little segue, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's a segue some... to our next to our new segment, by the way. So we no, can keep... no, no, no. You're not taking the segment. I got, I got a transition. Okay. okay. I am announcing. I know it's a weird time. I am announcing my candidacy for the United States of America. Hmm. That's You're it. Serious, I can tell. Yeah, I'm very. Well, wait, serious. but Matt, no. Well, Matt, seriously. Why don't you just stay in showbiz? Because I'm going to stay in showbiz, and we'll both be showbiz guys, just not working together. I mean, well, president, really? Well, look at what look what they do. You get up, you, you get in front of people, you, you you bullshit with your mouth hole a bunch, and then people throw you money. And you're also the most popular person in America. Name one way it's not like show business. Um, hey man, I'm sorry. Can you give me one second? Just give me a second. Otis. What are you doing? Otis, Otis, do you think I could run for president? Can we do hey, that man. and switch from showbiz to president? That's my idea, dude. Dude, you'll never believe what Otis just suggested. Yeah, he's I not even guess. in this. Don't even know what you said. Otis suggested that the kid run for president. He just said himself. He said, "Showbiz, who wants showbiz? Why not?" And by the dude. way, Otis also said, "It's in like five or six days. That's when people vote." Yeah, Matt. Matt. Dude, by the way, you can't. Do you, taking... wanna, do, you, do you want to work on my campaign as my friend? Forget all the stuff about us breaking up and your nation going in separate ways. Will you work on my campaign and go door to door to try and get people to vote for Caleb? To be And dude, we can use this show. We can tell them I was on your nation on YouTube. People will people will, will cheat to vote. They will vote two and three times. Can't can't lose, Matt. Okay, so you're my guy. Okay. Can I be your vice president? Absolutely not. Otis, dude. Otis Nuremberg. He's your lawyer. Come on. Slash agent. Slash, you know, Otis, you don't write him off like that, man. Look, okay, I tell you what. If I get elected, you can be my web guy. You'll do. You'll handle my web page because you're good at that. I don't you know? want to be your website guy. That's like the lowest ranking person ever in government. Hey, man, okay, well, how about this? Uh, what are your policies? And I'll, I'll have my policies, and we'll see who should run for president. How about that? You mean what do I believe in personally and philosophically? Right, yeah. Like what would you say? Give, well, give, first, us, 
Give us the first 30 seconds of your stump speech. What's your stump speech? First and foremost, I'm not doing a speech from a stump. I'm going to climb up in a fucking tree. I'm going to go to California. I'm going to get a redwood, and I'm going to climb up in a big goddamn tree because stumps are, I mean, that's what's left of it. Why would I do it? You don't know shit about politics. My whole oh, point man. would be, guys, you know me. If you don't know me, come up, meet me. I'm a pretty good guy. I like to drink, but I'm a nice guy. Why the fuck shouldn't I be president? And then I'm going to end it, and then probably I'll play like the train spotting soundtrack, and we'll par. I, you know, I'm just Ooh, that, yeah, that is pretty good. That's a good soundtrack. Yeah, no shit. Okay, well here's my here's my redwood speech. My my uh, redwood. You mean your your stump speech? No, no redwood. Uh, I'm I actually, sorry, Matt. Last time I checked, there's only enough room in the top of a redwood for one person. Well, it's a super redwood. It's twice as big as the normal one. So all right, you got okay, you got me there. Continue. So that's where I'm gonna be, and I get up there, and I'll be like, hey. Hey, hey, fuckers! Yeah, I don't. I don't like how you use the word the word fuckers because I said that that in my speech. So you're obviously plagiarizing. No, me. I'm not. Okay, I go, hey, fuckers. Oh, you with an S. You did the plural. I just yeah. called him. I just said, hey, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah all right. So. All right. A little nice me, competition. Me, I, this is what it's all about. This democracy. Me, hey, fuckers. Huh? You've seen the uh, panda bear rapist. That I'm running against, yeah. So you know, now it's time for some real change in Washington State. Uh, forget DC. DC's dead. Washington State. That's where it's going down. Yeah, fuckers. And uh, then I like. I, I may vote and, for you. I'll be honest. I may vote for you. Now I, I, give, like, I give him one of these. I give him one of these things. And I, I shoot um, a web out of my hands, and I f zip away like Spider-Man. Tell you what, uh, if you get elected, can I be your vice president? Because you've got me convinced. Absolutely not. Think about it before you make an answer. No. Can I be your vice president? Nope. Before, wait, but hold on. Before you say yes or no, think about it. No. And I'm going to ask you a question. No, no, I got a different question. Different question. Hmm. If if you get the presidency, can I be the person who takes your place if you have a heart attack or get poisoned by someone close to you? Only if they poison you too. If you get elected president, I don't want to be your vice president, I'll vote for you. If you get Air Force One, will you give me an Air Force Two? But on it, I want a giant turd, like Air Force Number Two, you know what I mean? You do oh, that. a number two. Mm. Yeah, shake on it. Okay, wait. I'll give you Air Force Two. Okay. Only if you fork over out of your own pocket the money for me to have the band 311 play in Air Force One all the time. Fist bump on the internet on it. Boom. And so shall it be done, Matt. I think that's a great thing to end on. And so everybody, go to the polls on Tuesday of next week. Vote for me because I'm running. But vote for Matt. Because even I'm gonna vote for Matt. Wait, I'm president. I'm president. Yeah, well, I'm gonna we, be president. They haven't voted. We'll see what happens Tuesday, buddy. I have a feeling though. I win either way because even if I, if Matt wins, I get to be on. I get my own Air Force Two with a turret on it, and 311 plays on Air Force One all the time. So we all win. Uh, and if I win, I'm gonna see to it that Matt spends the rest of his days uh, in in the Cambodian jungle uh, digging for uh, worms made of gold. Which don't exist, but he's just gonna toil anyway. I'm the only person you're talking to right now. I can hear you. Okay. All right, guys. So remember, next Tuesday, vote for your right, vote, right to vote. Vote, vote for your right to vote. 2012. You fuckers. Live long and vote. Live long, prosper, vote.